Hi, I'm Barbara Miller of the Indigenous Friends of Israel, one of the co-founders with my husband, Norman Miller. And we are extremely uh, disappointed at the uh, vote of the Australian government at the United Nations General Assembly uh, regarding Palestine and also at the rising tide of anti-Semitism in Australia. And we are working with the Never Again Is Now a movement in Australia against anti-Semitism and supporting the rallies in Melbourne on May the 19th and in Brisbane on June the 9th. So, as on the eve of the recognition or declaration of Israel as a state um, in 14th of May, 1948, here we are on the 76th anniversary. And as Australia, we are standing with Palestine and not with Israel and incredible that we should be doing this because Israel is defending itself. It's an existential threat to the existence of Israel. There was a ceasefire before October 7. Hamas broke that ceasefire. Hamas is a terrorist organization has been declared so by Australian and other governments. Israel doesn't want this war. Israel has been forced into this war so that Hamas can create opportunities to get worldwide sympathy because it puts its people out in front as human shields to get martyred. It doesn't care about Jewish life, it wants to obliterate Jewish people, it doesn't care about Palestinian life. It is happy to use up its people in the fight that of its ill-gotten gains. We have the leaders of Hamas in Qatar with their millions of dollars, while the people in Palestine are starving the money that has gone into tunnels to protect the leaders, not to protect the people. They don't care about the Palestinian people. People say they want Palestine to be free. Well, free of what? Free of terrorism, free of Hamas. They think they need to get it free of Israel. But Israel has tried so hard in the past to get a two-state solution to work. But the Palestinian people, well, at least their leaders, do not want peace with Israel. They do not want a two-state solution. They want a one-state solution. They want the whole of Israel, plus all the lands that they are currently living in. They want, from the Jordan River, to the Mediterranean Sea. They want to wipe Israel off the map and all the Jewish people with it. We cannot stand by as Australians and let that happen. We cannot countenance that. Unfortunately, the leaders of Australia, our government, is aiding and abetting terrorism, is standing up in international forums and standing for terrorist organisations rather than standing up for a liberal democracy that is fighting for its life. People say that Israel is there standing in the place of the West to defend Western democracy and, and the values that have built the West to the place that it is today where human rights are valued and the lives of people are not just garbage like they are in uh, Gaza. 
where, where the Hamas leaders are happy to throw them on the scrap heap of life just so they can have their own nefarious um, plans for a Palestinian state realised. We cannot countenance this. We cannot allow this to happen. We must stand up against it and declare that Australia will continue to stand with Israel as it always has in the past. Australia was the first country to vote in favour of the 1947 UN petition resolution which led to the creation of Israel as a nation state. Australia was also the first country to recognise Israel doing so in May 1949 and uh, Doc Evatt of Australia presided over the vote at the UN that recognised um, Israel in that same year. So where are we now? You know, this, this is our record. We are tarnishing our record. We have thrown under the bus the bipartisan support that Australia um, has had with regard to Israel. And so we are even uh, going, we are even voting in the UN regarding Palestine with nations like Russia, uh, China, Iran, um, North Korea. Uh, we, we are voting with nations that don't have a good human rights record. Uh, the US voted no, the UK abstained as did other nations and so what is happening is uh, we're not even standing with our uh, allies who have similar values on these issues. We're standing with uh, nations where human rights uh, abuses are incredible, uh, standing with nations who have no regard for human life and for human rights. So as Australians, we need to be taking a good look at ourselves and thinking and asking ourselves, what is our moral compass in this nation? What is our moral compass? Where do we stand? We cannot look away and ignore what is happening. We must stand up for what is right. We must stand up for the Judeo-Christian values on which the West was built, the rule of law. We need to be standing up for the values of protecting and preserving human life, freedom, and dignity, freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, freedom of religion, but not hate speech, not Jew hatred, which has been allowed to run rampant on the streets of Australia and on the campuses of our universities. This must stop now.